Hi, this is Patrick at StopSprayingUs.com, and it's uh, October 21st, 2017, and uh, Florida got it bad today. Uh, lots of trails. Um, I've been getting some uh, feedback from the shills who say, oh, no, none of this exists, and uh, especially the uh, electromagnetic stuff. Um, but uh, you don't need to be a scientist to see something's very screwy. So uh, let's have a look up through the mess <laughs> that is heavy spraying along the eastern seaboard. Oh, this is like really gnarly here, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, we get sprayed, but another part of it is the electromagnetic crap. This is an uh, uh, electro electromagnetic wave being pulsed through a cloud bank. And uh, it's pretty obvious, and you've got trails here as well. See them? I'll give you another view on the Aqua Modus satellite, which comes, comes in a little later. So uh, if you look, I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, Come back in. Well, Aquamodus, which is a few hours after the Terramodus one here. So, so we'll, have, we'll look at the Aquamodus one. Right, so. Trails. Yeah, we see these pretty much every day with start and stop points. Uh, the shields say, oh, but this part here is a warm pocket. Uh, another bogus lie, lines slash lies. Um, what drew my attention to this is it just looks freaky. Like what, what's, what kind of thing is this? Oh, also in front of it, there's a, another interference pattern here. So what is an interference pattern? It's when you have multiple waves going through the same area. And uh, you can, if you want to look them up for yourself, uh, I use start page. I'll click images and type in interference pattern. And uh, look familiar? <laughs> this is what we're seeing in the skies. Like, uh, yeah, this sort of thing. Uh, these. And this is from uh, two sources, and yeah, you get all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, let's look, have a look at what is going on here. Same kind of phenomena. Also, you know, how come this has this sharp edge? These are kind of blurry. Clouds are supposed to be cloudy. And, uh, you know, there is, you can see these shenanigans all over the place. So, okay, this is, Can this is uh, north of Quebec, October uh, 21st. 2017. Has moved on a little bit there? Uh, I was going to do this video uh, a few days ago because in Australia there was some major uh, electromagnetic stuff. So let's uh, switch over to this other tab where uh, this is. That's uh, Australia there. And let's have a look in here. Uniform interference patterns. Uh, you know this. Uh, there's electromagnetic crap going on. You know it's it's undeniable. And also this hull was uh, increased in size. So if you switch between, that's before 
Let's just zoom in a little bit. Before, after, before, after. Um, and you can see there are multiple sources for the uh, electromagnetic waves because if you look at the, uh, we'll come in here, you can see lines going along here and then they're going across there. Uh, some going, you know, the source of the wave is either that way or that way. Uh, there's more here. And this covers a huge area. Uh, the shills will say, oh, it's wind shear. How does wind shear affect such a giant area? Scales down here, this is 20 miles. And yeah, it's just like messed up over a very large area. So, is this all wind shear? If it's wind shear, how come it's it's got uh, different size waves with different directions? Uh, it's 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 all messed up. Yeah, there is nothing natural about that. Really, you know, it's 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 quite messed up. Yeah, so. Uh, the reason I was, oh, actually, there's more stuff here, stands out pretty clearly. Uh, I was watching this hurricane or cyclone uh, on the this one here, which is, I think it's it's already reached, uh, it's already past Japan. Let's see, uh, let's go to the twenty first. Oh, it's still, still over Japan or near Japan. Now it's got shenanigans, those wispy crap coming off the sides. But on the 18th, oh yeah, you can see lots of, lots of trails in China. In Japan, electromagnetic crap going through here. See the lines here, here. The ripples, give them a name, some more here. And you can see um, here as well. And, oh yeah. In Korea, you can see lots of, I mean, it's, they're not quite so obvious when you have a major cloud cover. And these ones are cross-hatched. You can see one's going this way and one's going this way. Uh, these guys are getting zapped. Uh, there's a lot more electromagnetic activity and, of course, spraying too. So, yeah, um, and if you believe uh, electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves have no effect on weather, um, there, here is a, a patent, I've referred to this one before, this is uh, by Ken Caldera, he is a, a geoengineer who proposes putting pathogens in the clouds to rain down your enemies to perform chemical and germ warfare, and he's the one who is um, uh, uh, pushing the uh, oh, solar radiation management stuff along with David Keith. Uh, and this is apparatus for, uh, as it says, a, a system for facilitating cloud formation. Cloud, cloud precipitation includes a controller and a beam emitter that is responsive to the controller. The beam emitter is configured to emit a beam to form charged particles within an atmospheric zone containing water vapor. The charged particles enhance the formation of cloud condensation nuclei such that water vapor condenses on the cloud con condensation nuclei forming cloud droplets and so on. So, yeah. Electromagnetic waves do affect weather, and uh, they are all over the damn place. These uh, 
electromagnetic waves. So um, causing cloud formation, and they can also get rid of clouds. Oh, actually, here's I see, see more cross hatching here. Yeah, uniform distribution. I call these popcorn clouds again, like an interference pattern. It's all over. I mean, it's suddenly like the entire planet covered in gravity waves. Like, but I mean, I hate to have these guys power bill. Oh, actually, the other thing you can, um, Gwen, Nexrad, all kinds of things are used for this. And there's a, a, a Seaborne platform called the SBX platform. These guys, these are huge uh, Seaborne radio transmitters. Uh, just look up at XBX. And uh, there you go. Um, what are these things for? I mean, this, this is freaking huge. Look at the size of this thing. Giant. Uh, and they're supposed to be for missile defense or something. Uh, tracking ballistic missiles. Yeah, like, that's huge. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, electromagnetic crap. But uh, you'll see massive areas covered with these ripples. And I'll oh, go back to this one from uh, the 18th uh, south of Australia. Uh, if you look over here, tighter ripples. Uh, that's an interference pattern. Um, huge. And again, oh, that's, that's, that's all the way to freaking New Zealand. And you get these like weird shapes. Nothing natural about this. Oh, it's all wind shear, the shills will say. It isn't freaking wind shear. This is a uh, manipulation. And you know, you get these like bizarre shapes, you know? It's just yeah. So anyway, the size of this thing, that's uh Five hundred miles is that, so this is a few thousand miles across. And that has been disturbed uniformly. And it's all over the damn place. So yeah, there is yeah, so this is a rambling, not terribly uh, coherent explanation, but you can just see for yourself, this is messed up and it's been messed with and it is not wind shear. You don't get uniform wind shear over tens of thousands of square miles of ocean. Oh, another interference pattern. So yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, what was that? Yeah, multiple frequencies. But see the distance between those. I'm coming closer. The distance between those is probably like. Uh, five times the distance between those. So this is, uh, uh, yeah, you can figure out wavelength. And from the wavelength, you can figure out the frequency of the pulse going through. Pulses, because there's so many of them. And 
Whether left to its own devices doesn't do this. It just doesn't. So anyway, that's all for now. All right, stay tuned and uh, more to follow.